I think that a lot of my Duke experience was definitely in the classroom and that's incredibly important, but the most impactful part of my Duke experience definitely happened outside the classroom. So I'm part of a club called Duke Enable and what we do is we 3D print prosthetics for people in the community free of charge. And that was something that really kind of kept me on track throughout all of college. I think when you get here and you decide to study engineering, it's so hard because like right away you're thrust into these classes that are so purely academic and it's really easy to lose sight of like why you wanted to be an engineer in the first place and Enable really helped me keep that vision on track. So with Enable, what I got to do my sophomore year, which happens to be one of the hardest years for engineering, at least here, is I got to work with a client, her name was Sydney, and she was 13 years old, and she was born with a hand deformity. So she was able to come to campus, we were able to meet with her, take some scans of her hand, and over the course of three semesters, design her a hand that was actually like able to be fitted custom to her and that she was able to use, which was incredible. I just think seeing her reaction, she was like picking up a water bottle and opening a bag of M&Ms, and just like seeing the reaction on her face was absolutely priceless. And whenever I'm here at Duke, or just in life and I'm kind of like why am I putting myself through this I always think about that and it really shows me why I'm so passionate about this. I worked with my mentor Rebecca Simmons who I'm, I'm incredibly grateful for and she really encouraged me to do things outside of my comfort zone and to meet new people. One of the things I do for her is I work on her podcast called This Engineering Life. So it's literally my job to just go around the Duke community and interview people about all the amazing things they do and the amazing experiences they have. Hearing from my peers and from upperclassmen and from professors and just really impactful people in the community made me a better, more introspective person. Now that I'm a senior and I have a little bit more free time in my schedule, I was able to take a class called Sculpture here and it was absolutely so much fun. It's with Professor Stephen Hayes who's an incredible artist and it was really fun to just learn from him. One of the projects that we did is we actually did a plaster cast of our faces and then we built a frame to go along with it so it was kind of fun. It was like some woodworking, mechanical engineering skills, cross art and what I did is I made it Duke themed because I've been, it's in my last year, I've been very nostalgic lately so I was able to collect some actually like old Chronicle articles and when it was a hundred years ago because this is a centennial um, and cut them up and kind of make a collage in the back and then I also molded my face and I painted like my hand blue and put it on my face um, with like what you do for game days um, and then put the little devil horns on my <laughs> on my sculpture um, but it was kind of my way of expressing that 100 years of Duke has led to now me graduating from Duke and how Duke has left its mark on me. Leaving campus is absolutely overwhelming. I am reflecting over my journey the past four years and I think that it's just the people here who have really made it possible for me to get through four years of engineering at Duke.